Researchers at McGill have found that cycling infrastructure in Montreal isn't keeping up with demand. They've created a new measurement tool which allows them to calculate how much space is available on the street for different kinds of commuters. And what they found is that cars take up 98% of the space on the road, even though they make up only 95% of the traffic. And part of the motivation was thinking that if we could run the numbers, if we could present some numbers that can easily communicate the distribution of space, then maybe it would be effective at communicating to people that they don't have to worry so much about adding a bike lane, that there still will be enough space for them. A little bit more space can make a huge difference in the real and perceived safety of cyclists, and it can help people make the decision to try to start cycling in the first place. Montreal has just over a thousand kilometers of bike paths, and since 2009, with the arrival of Bixi, the number of paths has increased dramatically, with hundreds of kilometers being added in the last two decades. So, what would happen if we double all Bixi stations, we double all bike lanes? How does that change the overall picture? And what we find is that just because of how, how significant the imbalance already is, it doesn't actually change it that much for cars. So a study such as this one should be helpful um, to make the case that we need to actually accelerate the development of the biking network and certainly not stop it. We're sure to hear more about cycling infrastructure in the upcoming municipal election, with the two main political parties, Projet Montréal and Ensemble Montréal, taking opposite views on whether they should keep expanding or be rolled back.